We have come to thank you, my daughter. We have come to thank you for listening to our plea. It would not have been easy listening to poor people like mm. us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my sister. You don't know what you've done for us. You have lifted a great burden from us. And because of this signal act, we are the God of the poor, the God of the oppressed, and the God of justice. We reward you immensely. Well, thank God for blessing you with your beautiful daughter. If not, you will not have been come here to thank me. It's her beauty that took her to where she is now. So let's give all the praise to God. God, we thank you. <laughs> God, Chuko Kikia Abiyama, mm. thank you for blessing us with such a precious and beautiful daughter. Thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God, God. Thank Madawa. You, God. Bless you too, man. Thank you, my friend. Achalego took two girls to the queen and they already started working in the palace as a maid. It's a lie. It's your community. The news is everywhere. I said it's a lie. Ha. Mama, will I be <laughs> lying to you? Huh? After it's all sad. the gifts we gave to her, the fowls and everything. I'm telling you. This is an opportunity she would have used to take you into the palace. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, this is not fair. Why is she like this? Hmm. Mama. Azuka. <laughs> the daughter of a... Uh, Ibanugo now, the famous wine tapper. That girl. <laughs> that girl that sleeps with everything in trousers. In the name of, I'm a beautiful girl. Yeah? That is who Achalugo took to the palace. So, and she has already started work. That girl. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> and that. Uh, the other girl, do you know her? Hey! They said she was banished from her village with her parents who that she's from Umokita Kingdom. Mm. Mm. They live in a outskirts of a, the town. She's not even from this village. Mm. That's the second girl. What? <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why should I Chalugo bring in somebody? A stranger eh? from another village. Mama, no. I don't know. That's the opportunity she should have given to you. No. This is mean of her. I'm she didn't do well. You. I told you, let's go and collect the ifa, but you say leave her to mm. her faith. Now you have seen that she has carried no. another person that no, is not even from this coin. With gone. this, I think we will pay her. Uh -huh. We will pay her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey! Uh -huh. Somebody outside this thing. Yeah. Somebody Banana. is not even Banana. from Banana. here. Banana. She's not even from here. Uchako, I don't know what is wrong with this neck of a girl. Anytime I tell her, babe, I want to marry you, she will always walk out on me. Neka. Huh? What is wrong with her? See, let me tell you. There are things you tell a woman that melt her heart. She will fall in love with you. Let me ask you, what have you been telling her? I don't understand. So, Genji bros your man and I don't know how to talk to a woman. What do you mean by that? Come on now, bro. This this thing is not about being a big or a small boy. There is a way you tell a woman things. It will melt her heart. You know, things like, baby, I love you. You look beautiful. You know, stuff like that. She will me it will melt her heart. She will fall in love with you. See, Uchako. You see, sometimes I begin to notice that na Uche Akobagogi. Me? Yes. Is it any woman you see, you begin to tell sweet words? What sweet word do you expect me to tell a necker? Eh? No, how do you want me to tell a necker sweet words? I can only tell her the truth and nothing but the truth. What is the truth? No, the truth of it all is that I love her waist. It's not... See, I, I want to marry necker because of her waist. Finish. What else? No, what else now? See, each time I set my eyes on her, Egota, he bought a pipe and a gum. He broke away and a gum. And I, I discovered that instead of me living in fornication with her, I better go to her people, do all the needful. Then marry her, then get her wholesale. No, no. Me be the way I want. 
No, no, bro. That's wrong. That's not how to weigh a woman. Mm. You don't just meet a woman and start telling her about sex. You are disrespecting her now. What you should do is tell her that she's pretty, you love her, you know, stuff like that. Then she will fall in love with you. Gente, let me correct you. Uh, that was not the first time of talking with her. Okay. Yes. Then, I don't understand. This. So, if I open my mouth now and start telling her sweet words, she will not know that I'm serious, eh? Okwago. Okwago. Yeah. Uh, but I hate all those fake lines. I hate deceiving people. Why will I tell her that she's pretty, whereas she's not? Eh? Mm. I'm coming. What if I keep praising her like that? Then when she goes to mirror and discover that she's ugly, what will be her fate? That's what I've been telling you now. That's being romantic. You understand? You cannot come and tell her that this one. No, you scope her, you scope her. I think say you be guy man. No, you not be guy man. I be it's, it's, it's just like you are not ready to marry. Women easily fall for things they hear. So no, this is where you are. Ah, I've been looking oh. for you since. Your lines are up too. How did you know I was here? Ah, your sister said I should check on you here. Oh, oh. so you've not seen me, Abby? No, no, you've not seen me. I have been bad and too small that you cannot see, you cannot notice. Eh? Oh, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Uh, which one is good afternoon? You don't give her orientation. How many times will I tell her to always address me as Prince? Say good afternoon, my Prince. Say it. If boy and a man will say good afternoon, my Prince. Okay, fine. Good afternoon, Prince. Ebelebe. Simple. And then more tell you say. You are happy now. Finally, my G. <laughs> you should be giving her orientation now. Of course, I do give her orientation. You know now. You know how these things go. Hmm? I will be a blue, blue pipe or purum nero. You are just happy because I'm not a pipe. I'm not a pipe. What does your friend always address himself as a friend? Yes, um, he told me that his mother told him that the late king is his father. You understand that when the mother was working at the palace school, then uh, I don't know that the king somehow, somehow got the mother pregnant and all that and she had to run away from the palace because she was scared of the queen. You understand? So, me, I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you believe that story? My dear, let me tell you the truth then. The way that guy is serious about this whole thing. Man, I had no choice. I had to believe him. Now, my friend, now, what I go do? I have to give him the support. You understand? Huh. Now the father is dead. I mean, the late king. Yes. And the mother is also dead. How is he going to prove to this land that he is the prince? My dear, this question you just asked me, I asked him too. But you know, he told me that nature has its way of making things work out. So, what can I do? He's my friend, so I have to, I have to give him all the support he needs. You understand? Okay, if you say so. My prince charm. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I was sent by the chief guard to come and tidy up your room. Oh really? You are free, eh? Do your thing. Good.
Mm. <laughs> You're a bad ox. How did you know my name? Mm. Go and show me what you've got, okay? <laughs> I bet you have never tested a wine as fresh and juicy as this whole package before you. You're a bad ox. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You're a badass! Let me finish you. Come. Oh. Come, 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 come. Oh. Come. 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 Mm. 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 Let me finish you up. What? What? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you looking at? Meaning what? Whatever. Mm. As you don't sweet me, you don't pay her. As you don't sweet me, I'm going to go pay you. As you don't sweet me, you don't pay you. As you don't sweet me, I'm going to go pay you. What? Prince. Hey, hey, are you okay? Please, my prince, I, I, I would suggest you don't you don't do that next time. Please. What? What? Are you mad? Eh? How dare you talk to the crown prince of Umudim Kingdom in such manner? Are you stupid? Eh? So sorry. Look at this local fowl that I picked up from the dungeon and brought you to the palace. So you have the gods, the country, to talk back at me? Are you mad? Huh? Eh? I better be careful with me. Huh? Eh? Better be careful. Because, uh, let me tell you something. It's a rare privilege for you to have it, such a thing with the prince. So you should be happy. You should be jumping up and down by now. Well, my prince, I might, I might be from the dungeon, yes. But I'm a human being. I deserve some respect, too. Imagine if I was your sister, would you? Would hey, you... shut up! How dare you compare yourself with my sister? Are you mad? Eh? Who gave you that God? What gave you that God? I'm sorry. Rubbish. Hey, 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 come back here. I'm not done with you. Are you okay? I'm not done with you. Let me tell you what you're going to do now. Go into my chamber. Remove this clothing you're putting on, okay? Make yourself free. Allow fresh air to enter in there. Eh? Spread your legs. I have AC. I have air condition there. Spread your legs. Allow it to face the AC. Eh? So the fresh air can come in. Before I come and join you, I'll take care of you when I come. I hope you heard me. Do as I said now. Rubbish. You wouldn't give up on your rights. Maybe you should just give in to his demand, just like we all did. Especially if you are still in need of this job. I'd rather not talk about it. No, 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 my dear.
So that poor girl thinks she's smart, right? Who does she think she is? She's over, I am telling you. Yeah. Did you see the guy I was dating before I came into this palace? Hey! Where is she? I saw me, where is she? Is where is that stupid butterfly that thinks herself a bird? Huh? Where is she? Who, my prince? I am talking about Maid uh, Adama. Where is she? She's in our room, my prince. Go fetch her for me now. Go now. But I said now. Go down. Now. Go. <laughs> I will know who, who gave her the guts. I, I'm going to call her for me now. Now! Mother, what have you done to the prince? I have done nothing wrong. <laughs> He's down there raining fire and brimstone. He's looking for you. Let him rain whatever he wants to rain. All I know is that I have done nothing wrong. Yeah. Then go and answer your call, Virgin Mary. And what was that supposed to be? What was that? Who is that question for? Huh? As if you don't know the reason the prince is upset with her. How am I supposed to know? Cho. I don't know. Cho. Trailer fell a break. Pretenders everywhere. Bia, Bia, Azuka, please. I beg you in the name of God. You respect me the same way I respect you in this palace. We are two different persons. However you've decided to live your life is your business. However I have decided to live my life should be my business. Please, I beg you in the name of God, let us respect our boundaries, Biko. Answer your call. Virgin Mary, answer your call. Azuka, oh, it's all right. It's all right. Virgin Mary, answer your call. Oh, what is all right? It's all right. What is it's all right? It's of your business. She should go and pay her dues. How is it your business, Azuka? How? Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, what are you saying? A whole prince, the prince of this kingdom, is asking her to bring that her useless self to him to enjoy something that she will enjoy too. But that and she's forming madame because you're giving your own to him for free and you're enjoying it. Doesn't mean everybody's enjoying it like you. Is that it? Yes. You think I'm giving it for free? Yes. They will soon chase you out of this life. You see this free that you think that I'm giving it to him. They will soon chase you. They will chase you friends. Look at this. They will chase you. Look at this one. It is not already other thing you will do in this village. That's why you are here serving. Look at you. What do you mean I serve as you are funny? Yes, yes, come out here. Were you not the one I told to go and wait for me in my chambers? Huh? I saw me before I lose it. I'm sorry, my prince. I am very sorry if my actions upset you in any way. Oh, my prince, please. I'm a woman. I I've got pride. I cannot lose my womanhood in such derogatory manner. Oh, I see. Are you trying to tell me that you're a virgin? Tell me, are you a virgin? I have not said so, my prince. Then what stupid womanhood are you talking about? My prince, a woman's body is her pride. And she chooses whom to give it to and whom not to. Forcing yourself on a woman amounts to sexual abuse. And I know the future king of this kingdom will not associate himself with such evil acts. Hey, shut up! How dare you tell me how to live my life? Not. Are you insane? Are you mad? Eh? How dare you? Hey, mother. It's nothing serious, okay? I will handle it. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? Medadoma, what is the problem? Your, your son. Uh, uh, mother, I said it's nothing. I, I did not ask you. I'm listening, Nada. Your Majesty, just as the prince said, it's nothing. Very well then. You may go back to your duty post. What in heaven's name just played out? What just happened? 
Wow. My mother, the queen, nearly caught me, a lifestyle I've enjoyed for years, and she isn't aware of it. All because of that fool, all because of that low life. Imagine her telling me what is expected of me, a common palace maid. <laughs> Rubbish. Everything. I heard everything. Mm. Why did you hear the part where the queen is not aware of all this madness? Hmm? Everything. I saw it all. Good. Brings me to my question. Why is it that none of you have had the courage to speak up? I mean, tell the queen, sis. She is not aware of it and she could do something to stop this whole craziness. Can I ask you a question? Yes. If the queen is put on a fix to choose between you and her son, do you think she will ever look your direction? When it comes to maintaining class and societal status, don't trust noble men. Their ego is worth a thousand times more than your life. What do you want? What do you want? My prince, I... I was thinking if I would be of any service to you. Get out. I said get out! Get out! 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 Now! Come! Malitangwa, you would have told me to come and uh, help you and do these things now. I wouldn't want you to be stressing yourself. Yeah, Ebelebe, if you know you won't be civil in your speech, you better leave this place now. As you can see, I'm sweeping. Oh, yeah, but to tomorrow, I'm going to be able to call out to you this morning. Come, calm down, calm down. Eh? Come, calm down. Eh? Every time you keep calling me Ebelebe, Ebelebe, I've told you this thing now. Stop calling me Ebelebe. Eh? Call me Prince. Prince Ebelebe. Uh, then anyway, you see, I came to discuss something very important with you. Something very crucial. Something that you can even benefit from. Understand? Uh, you stop all this you're shouting now. Eh? Mm -hmm. So what could that be? Mm -hmm. You say you came to discuss something nah, with me now. Course, I, course. I, I know that my hand, my hand is very sweet. <laughs> mm, let me let me and say what you came here to say this morning. Oh, sorry. You see, um... Won't you offer me seat? Eh? Offer me seat now. You better do, you better don't waste my time this morning. As you can see, I am very busy. Fine, I won't waste your time. Can you give me seat? Let God save you. If what you came here to tell me today is not a papa. Ebelebe, hey! Oh. Let me go and get a seat. Oh God. Oh, why this Ebelebe? Why is this Ebelebe? Eh? Mom can get them and not to one year now. What a pipe. A mom can get them and now what a pipe one year. Hey! So, what is the important issue? Well, first of all, um, I want to thank you for giving me seats. 
you know, it's not easy for somebody to sacrifice her time for another person. Um, I really want to appreciate you for that. Oh, please, can you go straight to the point? All right. I don't know if you are aware who my father was. Is that what he came here to tell me this morning? See, I I expected you to calm down. I, I, you don't reply questions with questions. Yeah. At least you knew that my mother was a, a cook in the palace before she took in and, and, and left the palace. You, you, you know, you are aware. How is that my business? Eh? Is that what you came here to tell me this morning? So you left your house. You took to mourn our mother. Give your grandma about your parents, Abi. Eh? You see, my problem with you is that you always run fast. Eh? It, it shouldn't be faster than your shadow. Eh? Must you create unnecessary issues out of nothing? See, I am the first son of the late king. The king cheated on his wife with my mother. And let me even tell you, do you know that even before the queen took in, my mother was already pregnant. She had me at home without even telling the king. Yes, because she was uh, trying to avoid the issue from the queen. So I don't know why I'm telling you all these things and you're finding it difficult to understand. My mother told me all these stories before she died. So how true is this? Hmm? Hmm? How true is this? My dear, my mother cannot be lying to me. My mother can't lie to me. And me, I can't lie to you because of this thing. Now why will I lie? Why will I lie to you? So why are you telling me this now? Why I'm telling you this thing now is because you disgraced me. Huh? Why, why, will you, why will you go to the palace and start looking for a, a job, ordinary maiden job? Ordinary, ordinary maiden job. When you know that if I become the way, I will make you the queen, being my wife. I'm here telling you that I want to marry you, I want to marry you. Because you should be aware that very soon they will come me the way and I will make you my wife. Why are you acting as if you, uh, as if you don't know what I'm what I'm talking about? Hey, hey. now why you no Eh? Now I went to the palace to look for a job for my own good. See, my friend, let me tell you, the only place of this kingdom I know is Prince Okoma. That is the only place of this land. I see, I see. Stop dreaming, yo! I see, I see. Uh -huh. I see, I see. I see, I see. Let me tell you, I see, I see. I am the first son of the late king, meaning that I am the prince. Forget about a prince or Okoma or no prince or Okoma. Other people are, 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 are carrying me up and you're here bringing me down. What will you be doing like that? Eh? Uh, in a way, in a in that as a wind. Oh, well, come on, be going. Hey, brother, come on, be going. Listen to me. I was oh, going. Get monte ah. now. Get monte. It's not that I'm shouting though, or, or just that sometimes. You know, but I was going out of my wind. You're supposed to be supporting me because now, when you when, when I become the king now, then I will marry you. I know what's a pipe. Come on, be going. You are the come on, be going. Be going, be going. So only the a butter pipe will discomfort you like this. So, what I was there, the papa, what I will now do. Oh, go now, go. I know who no is that right? I've heard you. I know who is that right? Come and push me out. I'll push you. Push me out. I'll push you. You don't want to go happy. Hey, Mama, you're still sweeping. Yes, Mama. I heard voices from in there. Is it not that stupid boy that calls himself a baby? <laughs> your admirer. No, your husband to be. Eh? Mama, God forbid. That boy cannot be my husband. Mama, that guy is not my type. He should go and look for his village champion type. Huh? <sighs> Madam Class, please take care of the house. I'm off. Mama, bye bye. Take care of yourself. Oh, go on, eh? My daughter, 
we have come to show you our heartfelt gratitude for what you have done for our family. It's unfortunate that we didn't come with any gift. I know you must be expecting gifts. But we barely feed. We barely feed. Not to talk of buying gifts, the kind of gifts you are accustomed to. We can't afford it. But we have come to tell you today that our daughter's first salary, her first salary from the palace, we will present it to you as a gift. That is her first fruit and we believe you deserve it. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, my sister. My husband and I have thought of the kind of gift to give you, to show you how happy we are. Because you've done so much for us. So much. You saved a generation. You lifted hunger, starvation, homelessness, and penury from us. And we're not taking it for granted. We are not. So we have thought of how to get a meaningful and tangible gift. And of course, you know we are managing it. So we have decided, we have decided that our daughter's first salary presented to you. Thank you very much. Oh, that may not be necessary. You see, the Lord has already blessed the two of you by giving you a beautiful daughter. And the only thing I did was to connect her to where her beauty is most needed, which is in the palace, you understand? So in that case, I am not the one you should be giving a salary to, a fair salary. Give it to God. God deserves it, you understand? My daughter, you are not only blessed with beauty and intelligence, but you also have a good heart. Mm. God will bless you. Mm. I'm already satisfied with the appreciation you came with this morning, you understand? That alone is satisfying. What will happen is also the salary your daughter will be earning, you can bring. But this first one belongs to God, not me. Oh. Oh, you are such a good woman. And my God will continue to bless you for Amen. us. Amen. Oh. Amen. The way you granted our heart desires, the same way God will grant your own heart desires. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Woman, please, and show me some respect. I know you're a woman, but you're a woman that works as a maid in this palace. You know that, right? My prince, a woman is a woman. Whether a maid or a princess, they, they both deserve respect. I see. Okay. Let me make it straight to you. You have to choose. You have to choose between the job that you do here that we pay you for. Or that your silly respect. Because as long as I see you in this palace, I will continually go for what I want. I must get that to my prince. In that case, I will have to report you to the queen. What did you? What did you just say? Do you hear what I said? <laughs> uh, 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 are, are you mad? How dare you say such a thing? Let me tell you something. If you want your peace in this palace, do not try what you just said. Did you hear what I said? I will frustrate your life in this palace. Oh yes, I will frustrate your life and that of that your wretched father and poor mother. I will... I will don't dare try me. If you try me, I will mess you up. Are you okay? I will, let me tell you something. If you want to leave, you can leave this palace. In peace. If you want to leave in peace, you leave. But if you dare try me, I will scale your life. I will kill you. Prince, I need this job. My poor parents depend on what I make from this job. But that doesn't mean 
I should allow myself to be dehumanized because I want to keep this job. The choice is yours. Yes. The choice is yours. If you want to continue with your job and earn money and enjoy. Huh? <laughs> enjoy yourself. Then fine. But if you want to continue with your silly respect. So be it. Deputy Jesus. What is it? Hmm? The Queen is in the guest room. She sent for you. For me? Why are you asking that question? Are you deaf? Did you not hear me? Please go and answer her. She are asking me for you. Mm -mm, for me. Pretender. Pretender. You think I don't know who you are? I know you. Pretenders, they say, do divorce. And that is exactly what you are doing. Look at you. Wretched thing. You are acting as if there is somewhere you stock up money. As if there is somewhere you bury money. I know you don't have anything. You don't have nothing. See, eh? I can't wait for that day. That blessed day that you will cry out of this palace. You will pack your things and move out shamefully. I can't wait. Pretender. Sentin Bogo. Look at this one. I know you are nothing. <sighs> you are as sweet as ever. You are so sweet. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you, my You're Prince welcome. Charming. Mm. Mm. I, I, I was wondering, my Prince, mm. why are you letting yourself so down? Like, why are you stooping so low to the level of that dirty girl, Mida Doma? Why are you forcing yourself on her? I want to mean of that. I mean... Guys, Are you my wife? Are you my girlfriend? I want to get it. You're now telling me what to do or not? Huh? Mm -hmm. Now listen. Let me make it clear to you. That we're having a thing that you're warming my bed does not make you my girlfriend. It does not man palace servant. Okay? So don't ever in your life tell me what to do or not. Did you hear what I said? Get out of this place. Get lost now. I said get out of this place. 
Get out of this place. Also. Come on, take this thing and get out. Get out! Get out of this place. Get out! Get out! Now! My own is, there are some decisions we make and there are some things we allow, not because we want them, but because we don't have a choice. Our hands are tied and we have no power over them. Exactly my point. Look, Adoma, love is sacrificial. Can't you make sacrifices for the ones you love? How do you mean? Okay, I will explain. You told us how you and your family were excommunicated from your village over something you know nothing about and how you've been struggling to eat not even for a day. Your story is a pathetic one. Thank goodness you found this job. Now, don't you think God wants to wipe away the tears of your parents and that's why you were able to get this job? I think so. Do you know the number of people that troop in and out of Acharugo's house just to get this job? People from this kingdom. They left all of them and then they chose you. You must be blind to see that this is not ordinary. I agree with you. And that is why I said, this is the sacrifice you have to make for the ones you love. Yes, you don't want to. But you have to just to retain this job. Doma, the prince requests for your presence in his chambers. Majesty, please, please, I am very sorry. I was busy dusting the cushion when the message came, but I, I don't know what happened. I, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Please. You forgot. You forgot. You actually forgot that I sent for you. I'm so sorry, my queen. Please, I, I don't know what happened. I, I had a lot on my mind and I have been so distracted lately. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Please. Forgive me. My son was right after all. Right? Right about what, my queen? That you, a butterfly, thinks you are a bird. Let me ask you a question. Why would you disrespect the royal family? Why wouldn't you give honor to whom honor is due? My queen, please, I am sorry. But honestly, I, I have never disrespected anyone in the royal household, not even the prince, my queen. You just lied. Even in my presence, you did. You I, lied about it. I am sorry. Anyway, my son has told me everything. Yes, yes, come out here. Were well, you not know, the one I told to go and wait for me in my chambers? Eh? Answer me before I lose it! I'm sorry, my prince. I am very sorry if my actions upset you in any way. But my prince, please. I'm a woman. I I've got pride. 
I cannot lose my womanhood in such derogatory manner. Oh, I see. Are you trying to tell me that you're a virgin? Tell me, are you a virgin? I have not said so, my prince. Then what stupid womanhood are you talking about? My prince, a woman's body is her pride. And she chooses whom to give it to and whom not to. Pressing yourself on a woman amounts to sexual abuse. And I know the future king of this kingdom will not associate himself with such evil acts. Hey, shut up! How dare you tell me how to live my life? Not. Are you insane? Are you mad? Eh? How dare you? Hey, mother. It's nothing serious, okay? I will handle it. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? Medadoma, what is the problem? Your, your son. Hey, sh oh, mother, I said it's nothing. I, I did not ask you. I'm listening, Nada. Your Majesty, just as the prince said, it's nothing. Very well, then. You may go back to your duty post. Thank you, Mother, you sent for me. What just happened out there? Oh, that? It was nothing, Mother. I want you to tell me about it, or I will be forced to believe whatever I want. Mother, like I said, it was nothing serious, okay? And I do not want that poor girl to lose her job, reason I don't want to tell you about it. So tell me about it. And I will pretend I never heard anything. Okay, mother. But I do not know where Achalugo picked that poor girl from. Oh yes, I do not know the orientation she has about this palace. About this royal family. Because she doesn't have any iota of respect for us. Lie. But I'm serious. Can you believe that that girl practically ignores my call, disobeys my orders, and um, and flouts the laws guiding this palace? What? No. You did not just say that. But I wish I didn't. But I'm telling you the truth. I can't believe this. But well, that girl looks so innocent and humble. Yes, she looks innocent. But she's different from what she actually looks like. Oh my god. Mother, do not allow this to bother you, okay? Allow it slide. Let's watch her. Son, if I had not given you my words, I... It's fine. Oh my God, my queen, I have never despised you. I have never despised anyone in the royal household. The prince lied. So what happened today? The prince, the prince, your majesty, so today I was, I was just confused. I had a lot on my mind. By the time I was done, I forgot, honestly. My son saw it and complained about it. And you did the same thing to me. Why are you denying it? Your Majesty, I'm sorry. But uh, the prince lied. Honestly. Why would my son lie against you? Because... <laughs> you see your life? Because the prince wants to have canal knowledge of me, but they wouldn't let him. What? What did you just say? Yes, it's true. He wanted to have me. Why are you lying against my son? My queen, I'm not lying. I am telling you the truth. And you 
want me to believe this. Majesty, I, I can swear before any deity. I'm not lying. Of all the maids in this palace, both old and new, my son would choose you, dirty you, to frolic with. Majesty, the truth is, it's not just me. All the other palace maidens too, but none of them has the courage to, to speak up, my queen. This is serious. Chide! Chide! Mwani makata soma. Hey! <laughs> What's happening, girl? The Queen summons all of you at the palace quarters now. What's what's going on? Medadoma. Jesus, please protect me. My body, spirit, and soul are in your hands. Don't allow any evil come close to me. Please deliver me. Has my son, the prince, ever Assaulted any of you sexually? Touched you in an inappropriate manner? Or slept with any of you? Tell me now or forever remain silent. Oh, Choma. Choma, speak up now. The queen is asking. You people are silent. Why are you people quiet? What is going on? The queen is asking. Speak up. Medan Luchi. No, my queen. Chioma. Your Majesty. Are you sure? Has my son assaulted you before? No, Your Majesty. You're sure? Yes, Your Majesty. Azuka! Your Majesty. What about you? Your Majesty, don't mind this pretender. How can the prince of this kingdom stoop so low to sleep with his maids? Don't mind this stupid girl, Your Majesty. You're sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure, Your Majesty. You all can leave. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Adama, stay behind. The prince. The prince did what? The prince despises all the maidens in the palace. He sleeps with them at will against their consent. He he wanted to try it with me, I refused. And he lied against me to the queen. I tried to tell her the truth about what happened, but she won't believe me. Why did you come and tell me first? Why do you have to report the prince to the queen? Very sorry, ma. It's just that he lied against me. I needed to claim my name. But Komose should have told you that this will land you in trouble. I will amount to your sack. Now, see where you have landed yourself. What are you going to tell your poor parents? Hey, what are you guys going to do? 
Greeting, my prince. The king just fired her. What? Fired her for what? Why? What did she do? Are you? What did you do? I don't know. You don't know? Tell me what you did. Madam, please. Let us go. Oh. 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 Okay. Very well, then. I'll... I'll be with my mom. Don't let me believe you are disturbing me. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 